Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Sampo, currently of the uh, University of Cambridge Language Technology Lab. And uh, I'll be talking a bit about uh, interoperability for linked annotations. So um, this is kind of the ideal picture, I think, that many of us have in mind when thinking about uh, uh, what linked annotation means. There's supposed to be a, like a, a small puppy cloud here representing linked annotations uh, being the uh, glue that connects together different uh, database resources, uh, text documents, uh, ontologies, annotation tools, uh, annotation databases, and so on. And uh, so linked annotations is the way that these uh, different uh, resources uh, interoperate. But of course, if you uh, looked at uh, what this means in practice, is uh, all of these tools, all of these resources have uh, their own formats to a large extent, have their own APIs, own languages, uh, all sorts of different uh, sources of incompatibilities. And so none of these just click together. You always have to do some work, even if you share kind of this philosophical commitment to linked annotation, that is the use of uh, linked data standards and uh, uh, RESTful APIs and uh, so on. So basically, to be slightly provocative, uh, one of the big challenges here is that linked annotation doesn't actually have any coherent definition. And there are no established standards for linked annotation. Now, this is by contrast to what, uh, what goes on in uh, uh, linked data in general. So there's a lot of proposals um, and a lot of ongoing work uh, around the area of linked annotation, some which I think they're mentioning uh, is, are the open annotation proposal, the NLP interchange format that's being used for the linked linguistic uh, annotation cloud, uh, of course, pub annotation, which is uh, in focus at this meeting, and a number of uh, tools and database-specific formats. And all of these differ in terms of their abstract data models, the serialization formats they use, the communication protocols, the APIs that they use, and so on. And so this is the motivation for this work. And uh, in this study, the focus is on working toward uh, what, what I'm calling transparent interoperability between two specific formats or representations, the open annotation and uh, pub annotation. And uh, we're introducing a proof of concept implementation that uh, provides transparent interoperability for a small subset of uh, the uh, annotations of interest in the domain uh, called Lambre. And um, when I say transparent interoperability, what I mean is uh, we introduce a middleware component to which a tool or uh, any software that uses open annotation uh, to communicate its representations can talk in the open annotation language, and the, the middleware component will relay this uh, transparently to uh, pub annotation without the, uh, these tools needing to know anything at all, uh, about uh, pub annotation. So I don't think, I, I hope I don't need to uh, introduce pub annotation. So pub annotation is the database and uh, associated representation and APIs uh, uh, proposed by the uh, BLA organizers. But I will talk a bit about uh, open annotation, which is an RDF-based model uh, for annotations has been uh, developed for uh, quite a while. It's not yet uh, an endorsed standard, but it's on, on the standards track. So open annotation dates back to the annotation ontology and open annotation collaboration efforts, which were merged and produced a, a community draft for open annotation 1.0 in 2013. And it's now uh, being further developed in the W3C web annotation working they have a working draft out uh, uh, earlier this year. And uh, this is a, another slight provocation and just my personal opinion. But I, I think uh, open annotation is actually the best shot we have at uh, having a linked annotation standard anytime in the near future. So I think this is, is worth uh, looking at. Um, I'll just 
go quickly over the sorts of things that differ between pub annotation and uh, open annotation. So open annotation adopts a, a fundamental abstract data model that uh, differentiates between three things. The annotation, annotation body, which is the data associated with the annotation, and the target, which is the thing being uh, uh, annotated. So this would be a span of text. This could be, for example, a label. Uh, what this separation allows is, for example, independent tracking of metadata uh, for the annotation and the associated data, as well as uh, annotation of things with bodies that are not under your control. So you could say something like this Wikipedia page here is the, the, the body of my annotation for this thing. Pub annotation adopts a simpler model where the what would be in uh, OA, the annotation of the body are unique. And the reference to the target uh, is directly from this. Similarly, open annotation body is uh, basically any RDF. So it's pretty much arbitrary data structure, which is a plus and a minus. It's very generic, but uh, uh, you can, uh, it's very difficult to support everything. Uh, pub annotation supports three data types, which is denotation, basically a labeled span of text, modification like a unary attribute and a relation, binary uh, labeled attribute. Um, another point of difference is uh, text addressing. The open annotation does define a custom RDF reference uh, form, which I think is uh, over-engineered and uh, really difficult to use. But uh, additionally, it, it, you can just use any URI. And uh, we're lucky to have this thing here, which is uh, uh, standard way of uh, referencing spans in text, so a uh, text fragment URI. Uh, pub annotation uses uh, standoff style custom JSON format uh, for referencing text. But, uh, so you can see these things map together kind of nicely. Am I supposed to go into questions already? Okay, I'll, I'll, I promise to speed up. Uh, okay, so another uh, big thing, uh, big difference is that uh, the open annotation has basically, everything has a URI, but so everything is basically a resource in the RDF sense. Uh, pub annotation uh, defines a way to reference annotation sets, but not individual annotations, which is something that I would criticize in the design. Finally, uh, differences in format, open annotation is RDF. So you can use any RDF serialization format. Uh, the example here is uh, JSON-LD, which if you hate RDF, you might want to look into JSON-LD because this might make you hate it less. I think JSON-LD is actually the first sensible serialization format for RDF. Pub annotation uses a custom JSON format. And uh, as you can see here, for some cases, uh, these two things look really, really similar. Uh, so, to uh, implement this thing and uh, about the current status, so the open annotation format is more ex uh, expressive, but uh, coincides uh, almost completely on the representation of uh, what is basically a labeled span. Span of text, give it a title. Uh, very limited, but a uh, very useful category of annotation. So, uh, the tools, uh, uh, the Landbridge tool uh, currently just uh, implements this translation for the label spans. Uh, also, open annotation requires annotations to have URIs, so that, uh, but uh, these don't come fall out of uh, pub annotation. So uh, I'm just grabbing the associated unique identifying uh, data from the pub annotation structure and uh, hashing that to general. And uh, we're going to uh, hopefully in this uh, blah going to extend this to account for the other pub annotation types that is the um, reference, I'm uh, sorry, the relations and the attributes of that. Yeah.